So hello everybody, how are you today? In today's video I am going to show you something that if you don't know is going to drive you absolutely nuts. So make sure you watch it, okay? So here's the issue. I have here the Northwind dataset, the one that we always use, and I know the data by now by heart. So when I come in here, I know that something is being filtered here. So I want to remove that filter. I wouldn't see all data. I just know the numbers and I know that something is off. Uh, so the North Wind sales for that year was for sure more than 120,000. So I start looking at the filter pane and I say, okay, no filter supply in there. Now I have selected a visual, no filter supply whatsoever, but I know there is a filter. I look into here, there's a filter. And anywhere I look, I cannot find what is filtering. And there is now, I don't know if you know this, but this filter thing, it tells you what filters have been applied to specific visuals. So if I click in here, I see that the filter is date and category name. And I go in here, and this date category name, I have here, cat so there's a category filter somewhere. And for the love of me, I can't find it. So where is it? I mean, there's no filters anywhere else. Let me show you. Let me show you. You go to here, home, no, view, and then selection pane. And you're going to see here that there are three slicers and one of those is hidden. So once I put it, I can see the category name and the hidden. And then either you, you know, you, un you can hide it and then Go in here. I would love to right click and delete. You can't do that. So either you click on it and press delete, which doesn't work so well, or you go in here in the pane, select it and delete. Okay. So that's how you find your missing applied slicers. When does it happen? This is what I think. What I think is that you create a sync filter and then you delete it and it will stay on all pages for some reason, it's gotta be a bug. So you have to go into the selection pane for each of the tab and delete it, okay? So now you know how to find your missing slicers. So hopefully it works for you. It's been driving me mad because I've been, you know, I had to create a new tab and recreate everything. And at the end, I didn't want to do it anymore. So I had to figure it out. So hopefully this is helpful for you. Take care and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.